My name is Greta Schmidt. I am a paediatric nurse and I work in Department T4 of the Heer Hospital. As a government employee, I am expected to become a member of the Nazi Party, which I am. All civil servants are automatically required to join the Nazi Party, but I joined as a young girl. I used to go to rallies with my father. He served in the war and had a hard time surviving after the economy collapsed. At one time, he even took to begging on the streets in order for us to have enough food. But we were really lucky, as my mother was a nurse and her wages kept us alive until the Fuhrer restored Germany. He helped restore my father's war pension. I remember I saw him once, the Fuhrer at the Nuremberg rally. He was incredible. I listened to every word he said. I was close enough so I could see his face. His eyes were so full of passion they seemed to bulge and shine as if they were lit by fire. And he called on us, the German people, to unite and work together. He was the reason I joined the Nazi party. I followed my mother into the nursing profession. And after I qualified, I took some extra training to look after the sick and disabled children. The pay wasn't particularly good. I always found it a struggle, especially after our economy was recovering from the Great Depression. But later on, in 1939, I was asked to volunteer to help with the assisted death for the mentally ill program, which led me being recruited into T4 at the psychiatric hospital at Hadama. This position was of scientific importance. Not only was the pay rise 25 marks a month, but there were bonuses as well, so financially I was much better off. T4 stands for Action T4, which is named after the location of the offices on the Tiergartenstrasse No. 4 in Charlottenburg, Berlin. It is a special unit set up on the orders of the Führer to expand the euthanasia program to the worthless lives of mentally ill patients. This has resulted in certain savings in terms of doctors, hospitals and nursing staff. You must understand, there are certain elements that must be removed from our racial community. There is a need to cleanse the diseased element from the German people. If I may use a quote from the Führer's book, Mein Kampf. He who is bodily and mentally not sound and deserving may not perpetuate his misfortune in the bodies of his children. Volkisch, the racial state, has to perform the most gigantic rearing task. One day, however, it will appear as a deed greater than the most victorious wars of our present bourgeois era. In other words, if you have someone who is deformed, handicapped, mentally ill, or has an incurable disease, they must be removed. For although they have a life, it is a life unfit for life. They are a burden on society. And therefore, personally, I think it's a very good thing. They are removed very simply by lethal injection. Or if there are too many of them, we starve them to death. Slowly, of course. But there are new centres run now by T4, where the patients are brought to the centre by bus and are gassed. This speeds up the process. Yes, it does include children. The whole programme began with the elimination of deformed children. But the children are never gassed. They are always given the lethal injection. The injection is never administered by one person alone. There is always three of us. This ensures shared responsibility, and often the children struggle and need to be restrained. It is a most unpleasant task we perform, but we must obey the Fuhrer's command without question. Therefore, if one nurse falters, the other two are there to lend support. Occasionally, parents of severely deformed children request their child be put to death. One particular couple I remember from Leipzig actually wrote to the Führer with their request. Other families are told their children have died of natural causes. You may wonder how, as a nurse who is meant to save lives, I can take the lives of the mentally ill. Well, it is as I have said. 
In the words of the Fuhrer, their life is a life not worth living. We must preserve the purity of the German people by preventing the weaker from breeding their inferior stock into our people. You must understand that just one of these people cost the Reich 60,000 Reichmarks in his lifetime, money that can be better used elsewhere in the community. If the children are not already in hospital, the families are told their children are being sent to special sections where they will receive improved care. We keep them for a few weeks for assessment, then they are eliminated. Death is mostly recorded as pneumonia. I have been asked how can I perform this job. There are some instances in life when you must perform duties that are disagreeable to the individual. But when it is for the greater good of your own people, you must overcome your own feelings and harden yourself to the task in hand. But I must tell you that the order for this operation came from the Fuhrer himself. As a true Nazi, I will obey him to the last breath in my body. <laughs> 